that's the that's the only product that I'm like I feel confident that why well, I'm just babbling. If you like pina coladas, hey guys, welcome back. So I've got my June favorites here for you today, and again, I have way too many things that I want to share with you. So I'm going to quickly run through my overall Friday favorites, and then I have some other makeupy things that I haven't shared with you in Friday favorites. And then I also have some skincare, um, hair care, and some random. So kind of a little hodgepodge, but I have a lot of makeupy things. Mostly makeupy things, makeupy things, because that's a word. Makeupy things and skincare are the main things. Things, things, makeupy things. I like to say things and makeupy things a lot. So let's get to the favorites. Okay, really quickly, my overall Friday favorites. I was loving both of these palettes this month. My Lorac Unzipped Gold palette. This is just a beautiful super golden palette. I mean, that's really what it is. It gets kind of like dirty as you use it, but I mean, it is gorgeous. If you like gold tones, coppers, um, really like yellowy golds, that's a beautiful palette. And then my good old original naked palette, can't go wrong with it. It just never fails me. That's what I'm wearing on my eyes today. It's a really pretty palette for doing multiple looks, but it's great for, I pretty much just use like two of the colors today for the most part. So it's good for easy, quick, smoky eyes too. All the naked palettes are. For blush, I have to go with Warm Soul from MAC. I just love this one because it's a go with everything, very neutral blush. I really enjoyed a lot of neutrals um, in June. So that's why I kind of like picked overall neutral sort of favorites for the whole month. Um, and then lips, gotta say the creamy mattes from Maybelline. These are awesome. I have a review video. I have a blog post. I mentioned them in Friday favorites. I just love them. And then also a couple of liquid lipsticks. I don't know. I, I keep boxes. Isn't that strange? I, I keep things in their boxes a lot. So Lolita was still in her box. So I love Lolita from um, Kat Von D. This is amazing. And then this is Marvelous Mauve from Sephora. Both beautiful. Slightly different. This one's more kind of brownie and this one's more kind of on the mauve pink side. I have pictures wearing both of these on my Instagram and then of course I'm wearing this one right now, but they're amazing. A couple of foundation favorites that I was really enjoying this month. First off, the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Luminous Foundation. I am going to have a review going up at some point on this foundation. I just have too many videos that I'm trying to always fit in. So just know a review is coming up on this, but I'm really enjoying it. I'm actually surprised how much I like this foundation and it's really shocking that it works for me and I have like combo oily skin. Of course I do get more luminous with this than you know a long wearing more mattifying foundation but it still seems to work. I love it. And then I was going for more just I wanted something easy so I'm actually wearing this on my skin today and I really enjoy this. This is the Garnier BB Cream. This says daily shine control, light medium. I don't know if they actually like change the formula or if they just like rename the oil free to be shine control to like remarket it or whatever. I don't know. I think they came out with some new ones, but I'm not sure if like this is one of the new ones or if it's just like a remarketed version of the oil free original release. I don't know, but I really like it. Um, it looks really pretty on the skin. It's an easy step, it has great coverage, and it has pretty good lasting power. Like honestly, I probably get less oily with this one. Of course, you know, this doesn't like say that it's supposed to be like oil control, shine control, or anything like that, but just BB creams in general usually get oilier on me, but this one really works well. So I've been a fan of the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores like loose version for a while now, but now they have the pressed version, and I love this. I love the loose version too, but this is just like so easy and quick and just having it in, I prefer pressed powders over loose. So I think that's why I like this one better. It's the same. This is just pressed, but I just love it. Oh my gosh. It makes your skin look and feel like silk. It just blurs all your pores. It is amazing by saying bye bye pores. Yes, that is what it does. It's beautiful. It's got that like silk in it and it's got really good ingredients so it's good for your skin makes your skin look beautiful and it's good for your skin i mean what else could you want i love this i mentioned this in a friday favorites but i wanted to put it in this video too because i love it that much this is the l'oreal true match lumi powder glow illuminator 
and this is in N202 Rose. Oh my gosh, I love this. It matches me today. Look! <laughs> I didn't even plan that, but man, it like totally matches. These are so pretty. And I've heard like, I don't know, mixed reviews on them. Some people say that they're like really chunky glitter and that they like move around on their face. I don't notice that at all. At least, especially not with this one. I think it's very smooth. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. But I have more, you know, I'm more combo oily skin. So maybe it's just like sticking to my skin better. Maybe dry skin people, it would kind of like move around a little bit more. But I love it. I don't notice like chunky glitter with this. I just notice like a wabam beautiful highlight. So I'm a huge fan of this and I love the packaging. Just such a beautiful kind of peachy sort of a highlight. It's beautiful. So I don't know, I guess you could call it rose. It's got a little bit of pink in it, but I see more like peachy champagne. I just say something pretty is really what I see. So I got this NYX Tinted Brow Mascara a while back and I've really been playing with it more in June and I really like it. So this is what it looks like. It's just, it's a brow mascara. So it's kind of like the um, Benefit Gimme Brow, except what I really like about this one is that it's very light. Like if I use this by itself, um, I really almost have to layer this with something, which I would anyway because it doesn't give you like very defined brows, which I like somewhere in between super defined and not defined at all. I, you know, some somewhere in the middle, a natural brow situation. So this is by itself, it's a little bit too on the natural side. So I layer it with something else like a pencil or whatever. Um, and also it's really light. So I like that about it because it matches more of like my actual brow color. But because of that, it's very, it's very light. So it's not very defined and it's not very easy to see. It's not a huge difference, but layered with something else, layered with a pencil, I really love it. It just really helps to set your brows, keeps them in place, gives a little bit more fullness to your brows, but also it's just, it's easy to use. And I just, I feel like this is one of the best ones as far as like the coloring of it, because I've tried other brow mascaras like the Gimme Brow and I've tried one other one, I can't remember from who, but those were too dark for me. Whereas this one is just a really nice light blonde color and this is in blonde. That makes sense. So I got the chance to try out Bioderma this month because this was included in our Makeup Show Dallas Blogger Preview swag bag, which was amazing. I was so excited to get to try it because I've heard, I mean, everybody talks about Bioderma. It seems like it's like a YouTube sensation type thing. So this is the Makeup Removing, I butchered this last time, Michel, Michel Solution. <laughs> I don't know, I'm not sure. But anyway, I love it. It takes off your makeup so well. It removes your eye makeup. It's so gentle. I really am surprised how much I like this because I've never used any kind of like a makeup wipe or a makeup remover before I use just face soap. I mean, I will sometimes use an eye makeup remover. Sometimes I use it after I actually wash my face. I don't know, but I'm not real consistent about like I never wash off all my makeup like with a wipe or something before I use a face wash. So this is my first experience with using something like this and I really do like it. It's pricey. That's the only negative about it. So we'll see once I run out of this if I'm like I can't live without it. But right now while I have it, I really do like it. It's just, it's good. It works. So I've been using some more serious skincare stuff. I get this off of HSN. My mom is obsessed with HSN, specifically serious skincare stuff. So we always talk about all of her line and she just has like so much. She has an A line, a C line. I mean, she's got like reverse lift and just so many different things. But anyway, um, I've been trying out the Pure Pep. Yeah, Pure Pep. So there's the Pure Pep Fading fluid, so this is a peptide powered skin brightening fluid. So it's, I guess, supposed to like really work on like spots and discoloration on your face and things like that. So there is the fluid, there is the 30% pure peptide and neuropeptide concentrate, and then this is the cream rich 30% pure peptide and neuropeptide cream. 
So what I've been using, I don't really know if this is the way I'm supposed to do this, but I've been using this first and then I'll use this and then this, or I'll just skip this step and go with the fluid and then this next. Um, I really like the consistency of this because it's like a, I don't know, like in between a gel and a cream. It's not like super heavy feeling. It's kind of strange really, but I like it. And I feel like the look of my skin has improved after using these. And I honestly feel like of a lot of different skincare that I've used, I love the Clinique Smart Serum. That's one of my favorite things I've ever used. I think I included that last month. But that and then I really honestly feel like I can visibly see differences in my skin the quickest and the most dramatically either with that or with the serious skincare stuff. I'm really surprised and I just love that this that her stuff is so affordable. I mean you can get like a whole set of skincare things for like the price of one or two items from Sephora or Ulta or wherever, just a higher end skincare line. Um, this is just a lot more affordable and I do really feel like it makes a difference. I love her A line also, but I'm impressed with this one. I'm really liking this. For hair care this month, I'm still loving my Bumble and Bumble Prada powder. People would have to like pry that from my hands before I would stop using it. I love it that much. It's just, I feel like it works better than any other dry shampoo I've ever used and it just gives volume to, and it's just good. I used up a whole travel size of it, and then I went and bought a full size and another travel size for traveling. I love that stuff. But I was also using this this month, and holy moly, I love this too. Not as much as the Prada powder, but I do really like this. Um, this is the Batiste Dry Shampoo in Coconut and Exotic Tropical. Oh my. Okay, so I love uh, Batiste. I mean, that was my like holy grail dry shampoo before I found the Preta powder. It works really well. It makes my hair like not feel more dirty or weird or whatever, but I like the way the Preta powder feels better. Just to make sure y'all all know, <laughs> I like that one the best, but I do really like this one too. Actually, what I use this for a lot of times is the bottom of my hair, like the back of my hair because it's kind of hard for me to get the Preta powder back there because it's that powdery whatever. Whereas this, I can just spray it back there. So a lot of times I use them together. So I love the Batiste. It is a great dry shampoo, but oh my goodness. If you like, <laughs> if you like pina coladas, yeah, if you like pina coladas, this will be it for you because it is so coconutty, pineapple-y, it's like a pina colada. It is such a good scent. You have to like coconut and you have to like kind of like, it's mainly coconut, but a little bit pineapple. Oh my gosh, it just smells so good. Summery, vacation, I love it. Great dry shampoo, but the smell is like what really sucks me in. And a couple of randoms, I have some brushes to share with you and these are both dirty, so please excuse that. But it just means I really like these and I've been using them and I need to clean them again. <laughs> That's also what it means. But I can't remember if I've already shown this one, but this is the Sedona Lace 313. I love this for highlight. It is just, it's really soft. I like that it's slightly kind of like tulip shape, that it kind of goes a little bit upward, um, but it's just like the perfect size to get in there and to apply your highlight. So since I've been all about that like L'Oreal highlight lately, this is just a go-to brush for me for applying my highlight. It's, it's good, I don't know what else to say about it. I like any of these brushes that are shaped like this, like any brush that has this shape is a favorite for me for applying highlight. But this one's a really nice one from Sedona Lace and it's cute. It's got the pink on it. I really like that. And then this is the Delium Tools 957. This is so dirty. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I love this brush. First off, it's stubby, so it's really cute for travel and it's just cute to look at. It's cute for travel and cute to look at. But I like this one because it's not as dense as a lot of kabukis that I've used, so it's easier to clean, which I, I need to clean it, but it's easier to clean um, and it really just buffs in your foundation so nicely because it's not too, the bristles don't, I don't know what I'm doing, the bristles don't move <laughs> too much where it blends too much, but it's just enough movement to it where it really just buffs it in so well. 
it's just it's now one of my favorite brushes to apply foundation I keep grabbing for it and yeah it's just good I love Adelium tools brushes I think they're so nice and really they don't get a ton of attention they seem like more people are talking about them on YouTube but I think they kind of like get shadowed by some other brush brands, but I think that they make some really, really great brushes. I have a whole review on a bunch of brushes from them. So if you want to check that out, I'll try to remember to link it down below, but I didn't have this brush yet when I did that video. So this is a newer um, addition to my collection, but I just love it. It's a great brush. All right guys, so those are all my June favorites. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Let me know down below what you have been loving in June. I always enjoy hearing your favorites or maybe your not so much favorites. Ask me any questions that you have down below about any of these products. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!